Our next two speakers have been working in public service for most of their careers. First is John Filippelli with the US EPA. He is currently the Chief of Region 2's Strategic Planning and Multimedia Programs Branch. John. Good evening. It's, it's exciting to be here at such an, such an important event. Uh, I'm here to, th here to share thoughts with you on uh, strategies of, for dealing with food waste. It's an important environmental problem. It's an important social problem. It affects so many aspects of our society from, from people just getting basic nutrition to, uh, to solid waste issues to climate change. There was a mention of climate change earlier. When people think of climate change, they often think of uh, power plants, etc., big industries that are putting out pollution. But, but the production of food, as was mentioned, uses energy, creates climate, uh, climate changing gases, the disposal of food, the, the landfilling, the two main em emitters, the two main gases that come out of landfill emissions when, a f when food rots in a landfill are carbon dioxide and methane. Both of them are, are key contributors to the greenhouse gas problem. Uh, I, I'm here to talk uh, specifically about uh, an EPA program called the Food Recovery Challenge. Several months ago, EPA and the U.S. Department of Agriculture announced that they would collaborate nationwide to tackle wasted food and its effects on a sustainable future. This alliance built on the EPA program that we developed about two years ago, the Food Recovery Challenge. When we launched the Food Recovery Challenge, we initially aimed it at uh, colleges, universities, supermarkets, sports and entertainment venues, hotels, restaurants, etc. You know, tar large uh, users of food, lots of places, and you heard lots of discussion about potential, uh, the, the, the amount of waste is, is pretty easy to see in those situations. But all organizations, uh, everybody's involved to participate in the Food Recovery Challenge. Many people are familiar with the solid waste hierarchy, reduce, uh, recycle, excuse me, reduce, yeah. reuse, <laughs> recycle. Uh, we've added uh, energy recovery and composting to that, and of course sound disposal at the end. There's also a food recovery uh, hierarchy that's, that the climate, that the food challenge, food recovery challenge advocates. First is, is in, in reducing, and that's, that's making smart choices, not, not buying food that uh, it's, you, won't, you won't use, uh, for, for organizations like colleges or, or, or businesses, not, not serving food that's not eaten, uh, keeping track of the food that you uh, put out there and what happens to it. Maybe you could have better purchasing practices that, so you're not gonna waste as much, better storage conditions, etc. Uh, so that would basically reduce the amount of <coughs> waste you're creating, save, save money, it's basically a win-win. Uh, and that's, a lot of that's behind the scenes and, and takes a lot of thought. Uh, the next step is feeding the hungry. Uh, we've heard statistics, 21% of the people in New York City are in poverty. Uh, uh, 14 or 15% of the households are, in this country are food insecure. So basically, donating to the hungry people is a very high use of the food waste, uh, the food that would have been wasted, and, and it's a great social value. Uh, next step after that would be uh, and lower down on the hierarchies is, is feeding waste food to animals or taking, using that in, in some industrial capacity like taking waste oils and making biofuels, etc. So that, that food is, is being used for some other purpose and not just rotting away in a landfill. And finally, right above that, right below that is composting. Often people go to the idea of composting as the first idea. and It's a great thing to do and, and short of all the other things, it's, 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 it's key. But uh, Ideally, the food is the waste is not created, and it's and, and usable food is sent to people who need it before you get to this composting phase. Uh, so, just wrapping up on the food recovery challenge, we encourage organizations to join. It's free, uh, and uh, it's it's nationwide. And the, the website is epa.gov, and it's food recovery challenge all all in one word. This is a link. It's it's a way to participate. There's a lot of information uh, in there. Uh, I hope I hope you all get a lot out of this evening, and I think I think it's already it's already happening. And uh, thank you for your attention.